All right, guys, today's video is all about pump sprayers. Pump sprayers. Pump sprayers can be used for a number of applications. Um, today, we're specifically going to talk about the foam capabilities and um, the, we're gonna talk about the industry standards. We're gonna talk about the future of pump sprayers possibly potential future. And then we're gonna talk about what we use here at Details. So first one I'm gonna start off with is gonna be the, just the basics of what a pump sprayer is, a foam sprayer slash pump sprayer. So I'm gonna talk about the industry standard right now, which is gonna be the IK foamer. The IK foamer is going to be a foamer which you can use for multiple applications. You can use it for degreasers, you can for, use it for interior cleaners, you can use it for, um, for uh, for rinseless washes, you're gonna use this sprayer for um, you know the foamer to give you a bit more dwell time. This is gonna allow the uh, the cleaning agent to set on the surface of whatever uh, material you're trying to clean, and it's going to dwell a little bit longer with the foam action on there, kind of breaking down, um, encapsulating any kind of dirt or or lifting any kind of dirt. So that's going to be the uh, the idea of what a foam sprayer is. Um, you also have um, just a normal sprayers without the foaming action, which you can modify each one of these guys here to um, either decrease the, the foaming action or to eliminate the foaming action and just make it a basic sprayer in general. Some people prefer just to spray um, the, you know, you're basically you're using instead of a trigger sprayer, you're just using a pump sprayer in order to be a little bit more efficient do a uh, large consistent coverage and uh, get the job done a lot faster. So IK Foamer is the industry standard. These guys all come with a little portion of the foamer in here with this portion of the, it's a little tough to get up. With this portion, you're able to remove this guy here. This is going to give you a different type of action. It comes with a green and a orange one as well so they're all gonna have different degrees of foaming densities um, so this foamer I don't really use too often um, I want to say maybe once or twice I've used uh, my IK foamers I have two of them but for the most part I generally use this guy here which is the carbon collective uh, pump sprayer I've been using these for about three years now these are great I really like them I like the size obviously the color is nice um, same thing it's going to have the same piece which is going to be the foamer you can remove this if you want to use it just as a sprayer if you don't want that additional dwell time and you don't want the foaming action you can it has the same capabilities as the ik um, the ik does come with a specific uh style as well called the uh, the model is the sprayer this one is the foamer itself so this one will still give you a little foam no matter how much how much you change out that little foaming tip um, the sprayer itself is going to be more of a if you just want just a spray with no foaming action at all so this one's going to give you variances of foaming action this one is just going to go from one type of foaming action to just a sprayer with the removal of that that small tip um, these guys both um, are uh, directed to dilute your products accordingly um, to make to ensure that you're not damaging you don't want to use any kind of acid-based um, cleaning agents in here as they will corrode the pieces you also have small filters in here too um, that you need to clean out um, once in a while I've noticed when you use DI water these guys foam a lot better it keeps them a lot cleaner they're not getting um, they're not getting piled up with uh, with a bunch of gunk these little foam, uh, these little pieces here, these filters, they get gunked up and then it doesn't allow the air to go through. So then you're not going to be getting, um, you know, you're not going to get the maximum potential of the foaming action. So, uh, so those are the two that are, you know, that are out now that are in use. And uh, there's nothing wrong with these guys. I love these guys. And basically you just fill them up to your desired um, it'll give you a fill line on all of them and a measurement to the max where you can go because you do need to allow air inside to uh, to pressurize in order to push out the foam. Um, these guys, it's just a pump sprayer. You know, you just pump it up and then you're going to 
basically pull the trigger to release and that's what it comes out. So as much as you have it pumped up, that's gonna depend on how much that you're able to release. Um, and of course there's, you know, there's, you know, you have restrictions on, you know, depending on how much water you have in here or how much dilution, you can't get a lot of air in here if you're filled up fully. So just keep in mind there is a fill line and uh, you need you need a X amount of of uh, air in there in order to get the maximum potential out of these machines. So on to this guy here. This is the Carbon Collective Hydro Plus portable battery sprayer. This guy, these are 48 ounces, 50 ounces, and 60 ounces. So this guy here is going to be battery operated. If you notice, when I turn it on, it's already starting to pressurize on the inside. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, the nozzle was open, so it didn't, it, it was releasing the air as well. So, this guy here, 60 ounces, automatic pressurized air on the inside. Same, same idea with the trigger. This one also has a trigger lock. So if you're doing a large area, you can actually keep the trigger locked. And as it's spraying and releasing air, it's actually going to be recharging the air as well. So you're getting maximum efficiency out of this unit. It comes with two tips. So the same as these guys here, the IK and the Carbon Collective manual pump sprayers, this guy comes with two tips. The smaller tip is if you want to use it just as a sprayer, as a standard sprayer, and the long tip if you want to use it as a foamer. I use, I ordered four of these guys and I'm going to be using these for nothing but foam action. I'm going to be using it for my exterior foaming uh, pre-wash and then I'm going to be using it for my wheels. So I won't be using this for any interior stuff. I'll probably be using these guys on my interiors going forward. If I have heavily soiled areas, if I want to use my carpet bomber or if I want to do door panels of EnviroClean or, um, or Express on larger areas, I may just go to these. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously these do take up a lot of space. You don't want to be you know, running around with all of these guys. Um, I, I tend to kind of go towards the 16 ounce bottles, but the, these guys are great. I want to carry, I carry two of these in my van right now. I'm going to continue to carry these two in my van, one for the exterior, as I said, and then one for the wheels. So these come with two tips. You have your sprayer and then you have your foamer. You have your release, your air pressure release here. Uh, the top comes unscrewed just like the other guys and inside here you have a comes with a small measuring cup So you can measure your dilution and then on the inside you can actually see that there is a uh, a, a little valve a, a Air it looks like a Yeah, it's just like a long skinny stainless steel tube that's going to release the air or bring the air up top this guy This unit is heavy. It's about five times the the weight of this here empty so with this guy that's your preference just place it in there put it back on screw it on throw your tip on and you're ready to go um, this unit is not going to be for everybody um, you know if you're only doing one car a day two cars a day you know it may not be something that's going to be worthwhile for you as far as price point um, this also runs about you could probably get three of these for the price of one of these. So this one retails for over a hundred. Uh, these guys here, you're probably looking at the IK anywhere between 35 to like 45 bucks. These guys here about 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, and then these guys well over a hundred. Um, so for me, for me and Sal, for details, we will definitely be utilizing these because there's days where we do multiple cars and it's just, we're all about efficiency and um, you know being faster, being quicker, being more consistent. This is going to give you a more consistent spray. It's not this one here. If you're only pumping it up X amount of time, say you give one pump, say you do five pumps on one area and then you do seven pumps or 10 pumps on another area, you're gonna have inconsistent spraying. This guy here, it's gonna give you consistent spraying every single time because as you're releasing the, uh, the agent, 
it's already starting to to regenerate itself and, and pressurize. So this, I just, I don't do a lot of reviews. I just wanted to show you guys something that could be a potential game changer for your business. This guy here, you will not have to, you don't have to deal with the, you know, with the manual labor of pumping. This also, I would probably recommend, it's a hard plastic. It doesn't have any rubberized feet or anything on the bottom. I wish it did. Um, Cause these guys here, we, we tend to bang up quite a bit. You know, we use these a lot. So these guys get a little beat up and um, I would like to see something that had, you know, some rubberized feet or something on it, a little bit more heavy duty. But yeah, these guys here, um, I would, you know, I'll get back and I'll probably do a review maybe two, three months down the line to kind of check in and let you guys go. It is new to the market. Um, I have seen it in other industries, but this one looks like it is pretty durable. Everything that I have from Carbon Collective, if you guys know my, my, you know, my, my business, we, we really like Carbon Collective. They have a lot of, we use our foam cannons. We use, um, you know, I use our bottle holders. I use a lot of stuff from, from Carbon Collective. They make good quality products. Um, you know, they're based out of the UK, but um, we'll see how this goes, you know, and it's rechargeable. It just has a rechargeable battery port here. And then it also has a indicator for your, uh, for your, um, for your battery life. So you're always, Kind of aware of what's going on you know as far as how much uh, battery life you have and when you need to charge it and even as it's charging it the indicator lights show you you know so one is low two is medium three is full so um, as you're charging it once you hit that third light you're ready to go um, i had tested the battery and the battery actually outlasted the work uh the work day that we had so it uh so far so good uh, but like I said, I'll do another review a few months down the line, but definitely check this out and uh, thank you guys for watching. It's Joel with uh, details and don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you guys on the next one.